Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 81, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. Let's see where God takes us. It looks like we are in the, the Control-L code. This is uh, when you hit Control-L, you can insert, uh, like if I hit Control-L, and I insert, uh, oh, that, uh-oh, this code has a bug in it. But anyway, um, not this code, but, well, anyway. Okay, so we go to tree branch, let's say, uh, this is a tree. Do you see this form? And what it says abort, click for help. Okay, so this form, so it, what, what this code just did, is uh it's a little bit like a managed code or something i don't know what you're, anyway it put this uh it put these commands in there oh shit that's quick okay so um So uh, the way these uh, forms work, the, the, the master form is uh, when you hit control L, you get the main, uh, where's the main? It has a sub menu for each of the menus and there's a form for each different, um, each different, I guess, widget type, whatever you want to call them, widgets. So this looks like... Uh, the master form so that means where's the main menu oh here's okay here's the main menu when you hit control L you get to this menu the way these menus work you have uh, menu entries and they return a left expression value this is a these are um, this is C++ or holy C code so these defines work. They, it looks in the table for them. And um, we do pop-up menu. We make a document with um, that. And then this is like, uh, what is it called? Run dialog or something like that in uh, Windows. Except all of our resources are right in the code. That was a, that was a goal when I designed this, is I wanted, um, I didn't like, jumping around to different files so this was a goal so this makes the menu and uh, these have menu entries some of these have check boxes CB this is for um, this is for the text if you if you enter text normal text doesn't require control L obviously but um, if you want to add uh, um, arguments then you make a text like watch this if I say control L text and uh, this is a demo and let's just say underline okay so now we have underlying text what does this look like control T oh we have a bug whoa that's news to me anyway that's not good. This. Okay, so I I have some idea. Let's go center. Oops. So um, it has text center. Looks like the underline is not. Uh, that's um, the reason for that is uh, the underline is. Uh, a flag in the type um, it's it's a long story but it looks like those do not get uh, converted when it why don't we just fix that well we're, I guess we could so when it converts to plain text I don't think it um, converted the underline this could be a new bug because I changed that code 
So when we go to plain text, um, it's supposed to handle the, the, you have flags and you have the type, and the type has flags. Um, that's the problem. And the type has default flags. Okay, so here's the type. Um, docu document to plain text. I think this is a document entry to plain text. So if the type doesn't match the default, if the type blink to underline, blink to underline, okay, less or equal? Yeah, it is less or equal. Buffer two. Looks like we cl we clobber buff buffer. Buffer equals buffer two. Free buffer buffer equals buffer two. Buffer two. I don't know. Um, let's see if uh, let's see if it converts. Let's make a file. Um, Control L. Text. Is so we go underline. Now I'm gonna escape out of here, and then open it. So it definitely is not converting it to. Uh, Plain text. T1 equals, what is this? T1 type or default. Why are we doing that? Not error. Oh, look at that. I think T one. Wait a minute, type. We get rid of select. We don't want the uh, the selected, obviously. I guess T1 looks like we're. Why are we oring with the type here? I think this is the problem. Oh, type you wait. Okay. Oh well, I'll let you go.